the understanding and the process of this problem. So again, now I want you guys to uh, understand, find the tangent line to the curve through the point 1 comma negative 9. The difference between this problem is, and what I previously did, like with the first problem, was um, the other one says, tell me the tangent line at a given point. They want you to find the equation at a given point. This function is not saying find the tangent line at 1 comma negative 9. So therefore, we do not know that 1 comma negative 9 is on the graph. And in, in fact, when you do graph it, it is not on the equation, or is not on this function y equals x cubed minus 9x. However, if we know that, if we need to um, find an equation, if we need to find a tangent line, then we need to, um, if we need to find a tangent line, we need to write the equation of a line. So we could say y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And remember, the derivative of our equation is going to tell us what our tangent line is. So y equals x cubed minus 9x. Therefore, y prime equals 3x squared minus 9. That's the best example we have of our slope. Because we don't know this. If, this it said, if it was said at that point, and that point was on the graph, then yeah, we just plug in 1, find the slope, and, and do it like the other problem we did, right? But this point is not on the graph. So therefore, um, we need to, now we can plug in our points, x1 and y1, and then we're going to plug this in as our slope. So we'd have y minus a negative 9, which is 9, equals um, 3x squared minus 9 times x minus 1. Now we just need to do a little bit of math. So I get y equals 3x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 9 minus 9. And therefore, I get now y equals 3x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x. So that's the equation of my, um, that's the equation of my, or that is going to be my values with that given slope. But you can see that y equals x, that's, um, that's not really giving me much of a, a equation of a line, right? So now what we can do is we can, um, Go ahead and set this, um, set our values of y, because we want, again, let's kind of think about this graphically. x cubed minus 9x. Um, I'm just making a, a point here. But basically, let's just pretend here's our point. There's going to be, it's possible for this point to have two multiple tangent lines that go through it that are equivalent, that are equal to that function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this equation of our tangent lines equal to our function to find the values of x of where this graph intersects our function. So I'm going to replace y with my function. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, try to see if I can solve for, um, solve for x. By therefore, what I need to do then is get this equal to 0 and try to see if I can solve for my solutions. So by solving for x, what this has now showed me, that I found this equation, this crazy equation of this line, set it equal to my, so I, f I, have, these two I have these two equations of the line. I set them equal based to my function. That basically now gives me these two x values. Now obviously my graph does not um, correlate to what I'm doing because I just randomly sketched the graph. But when I go ahead and type this in, you guys can see now my x values are 0 and 3 halves. Those are the x values of where my graph has tangent lines that go through this point um, of that function. So now, 
I need to be able to identify what the uh, y value is for those values. So to do that, I'm simply just going to, um, oh, I didn't go through the rest of that. So now, if that's my x value, I need to be able to find the y value. So I have y sub 0 equals 0 cubed minus 9 times 0, and y sub 3 halves. Uh, I'll run out of time. And this one equals 27 over 8 minus 27 over 2. Or 27 over 8, 27 over 2. 27, 54, 108. Twenty-seven minus one hundred eight is eighty-one. So my second coordinate point is three halves, comma negative eighty-one over eight. If I can talk without having to talk over students, that would be helpful. So the x values are going to be the two points, and I'm, while you guys are taking your quiz, I'm going to show you guys this graphically so you can see what this looks like. So there's my two points, my x values. I plug my x values into my function to find my y values. Now, I have an x and a y value. Um, and then I could also go ahead and determine, oh, I'm sorry. Um, what am I, an idiot? I need to plug in my slope. Shoot. What the heck am I doing? I already have my x and y. I already have my x, y value. I need to identify what the slope is. Sorry about that. Um, for my slope, for my first point, I plug in 0 y prime or y prime of 0 gives me my first slope, which is 3 times 0 squared minus 9, which is equal to negative 9. So therefore, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The points are the same. y plus 9 equals, but my slope is a negative 9 times x minus 1. Then to find my other slope, I need y sub 0 of 3 halves which equals 3 times um, 3 halves squared minus 9. That becomes 9 over 4. Minus 9, that becomes 27 over 4. Minus 9 over 1, multiply by 4 over 4. Equals, that becomes 36. 27 minus 36 is becomes 9 over 4. Negative. And then that's my, second, that's my second slope. And then I'm still using the same point. So it'd be y minus 9, or y plus 9 times, or equals negative 9 over 4 times x minus 1. If I had my, so I want to 